Hello everyone, I recently found this GE Spacemaker washer at a flea market. Now this is a portable washing machine, this is a vintage one, and uh, I don't know too much about this, so if anybody's able to provide some insight, I would definitely appreciate it. But from what I've been told, uh, it was made by Whirlpool, and it was made uh, in the late 70s. And I would guess late 70s or early 80s. This machine's definitely over 30 years old, and uh, it's built very, very well. What I was also told was that internally, it's basically a full-size washing machine from that era, just housed in a smaller footprint. So it has the guts of a full-size machine. And it is, it's quite heavy, it's built very, very well, and, uh, and it seems to work great. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a demonstration of it and show you how it works and do a load of laundry. Uh, but I think it's a, a neat, uh, neat old appliance. Taking a closer look at this GE washer, this machine works like most American washing machines did for decades. It's a top loader, you lift this up, and it has a classic agitator on the inside. And uh, the way the agitator works is the fins are quite uh, shallow at the top, but they get much, much wider and deeper as you go further down. And the ones on the bottom are quite, uh, quite deep. And w the way the washing machine works, uh, clothes get brought in towards the agitator, they get worked down, they get cleaned, and then they turn over. And that cleans the clothes very well, and it also cleans them evenly because it cycles the clothes around in the tub. So that's a very effective cleaning method that worked very well for decades, but now companies are largely moving away from it. I think it's a shame, but what are you going to do? Uh, adding soap on this is easy. I'm 99% sure that that's what you do. You just add it in there and uh, and then it gets evenly worked in with the clothes, especially if it's a full load. But you could also just dump it in here. This actually could be where you add bleach or fabric softener. I'm not 100% sure it's not labeled, but I'm thinking that's where you just add whatever you're going to use. And uh, one other funny thing on this is that even though this is a smaller washing machine, this tub fills up completely with water. So even though it's a smaller machine, it uses a shocking amount of water, especially by today's standards. Uh, new high efficiency machines and front loaders, which have enormous capacities, they're very big machines now, probably use a lot less water than this thing does. Um, but, you know, for decades, this was just how they worked. They did use a lot of water, but they were also very effective. So, uh, let's continue. Before moving on, one other thing I'll show you. This is the uh, lint filter. It's housed inside the agitator, and actually, even from just doing a few loads of laundry, that already needs to be cleaned out. Um, but that seems pretty effective. So that catches your lint right there as the water cycles through that. And yeah, just from the four or five loads I've already done, it's already built some up. So that saves a little bit of work for the dryer, or if you're going to air dry clothes, this has an effective lint filter that you can easily access. The controls on this GE Spacemaker washer are incredibly simple, uh, kind of just the standard how they were for a long time. Uh, you can select the load size, which uh, will select the water level. Uh, even on extra small, it still fills that tub up about halfway, so it's going to use quite a bit of water regardless. Um, and then you can select your temperature, but because I'm going to hook this up to my sink, I'm just going to set the temperature there, so I can always just leave it on, like leave it on any of them, it wouldn't make a difference. But you do have the option of hooking this up to, a, a, you know, in a standard fashion in a laundry room, and then you would select the temperature that way. And then over here you have the knob where you can select your cycle, and you've got a few different options. And you just turn this around, permanent press. You've got a delicate cycle that's shorter. You have a pre-wash soak. And then you have your regular set cycle. Um, it looks like most of these do, uh, will do two rinses, or one rinse and two spin cycles. And, uh, and then you just set it however you want. And then just pull the knob out to start and that will start the washer, very simple. Uh, taking a look at the back of the machine, uh, this actually works out better than uh, other portable washers that use newer ones. There's just one large storage hook on the back, and on that you can wrap both the cord and you can hang the hose on it so it won't drip at when it's not in use. And although it doesn't look the tidiest, this is going to be pushed up against the wall when you're not using it so you'll never see it, and it is an effective way to store everything. Alright, setting up the machine is very, very easy. All you have is this one snap ring connector, a uh, quick connect, that connects to your faucet. Your faucet does need to have the right fitting, but most generic faucets you can thread on this generic dishwasher adapter that works for most of these types of appliances. And then all you do is you push down on the quick connect fitting, and you have to kind of hold down the faucet, connect like so, and then that's it. 
And then you can set your water to the desired temperature. We'll just do cold to start. And that part's ready to go. Uh, the only other thing as far as setup on this old washer is uh, plug it in. It just uses a standard uh, plug. It is grounded, so you have to find the inappropriate outlet. But most kitchens will hopefully have grounded outlets. And you just plug it in. That's it. We're ready to get started. Okay, I'm going to select the appropriate cycle. And I'm just going to do it on regular. One kind of unique thing you'll see is it's starting to fill up. It just fills from the bottom up. A lot of them would spray water down into the uh, tub. This one doesn't do that. And just something different. So and again, somebody can correct me, uh, but I'm just gonna put the soap in here and a little bit of soap goes a long way because this agitation is really generous and it creates a lot of suds. So I'm just gonna put just like a teaspoon and I just use eco detergent these days. I don't want to try to keep all that to a minimum. There we go. I'm gonna let that fill up just a little bit more and then I'll start adding clothes. But it's kind of unique the way that it does it. So I'm just going to do kind of just a normal size load. I'm going to try not to overfill it. socks. Let's see how this feels. Eh, I could probably still throw some more in there yet, so. That's still not quite full, but I want to see how it'll uh, turn everything over and the wash action. So I think I'm going to stop there. And uh, we're going to come back to this when it's ready to go. Thank you. 
At the start of each cycle, the washer initially vigorously works the clothes, and then it slows down to this speed and kind of has more of a gentle wash action. The first main wash cycle is over, and now it's filling up for its rinse cycle. The rinse cycle is much shorter.
The GE Space Maker washer is now finished, so let's see how things came out. Nice and clean. Everything feels good. And, you know, ready for the dryer. If you don't have a, uh, a dryer, you know, this is made for places where you normally can't have a washer or dryer. You could just air dry these items and they'd come out just fine. But everything looks good. I've been very impressed with the performance of this so far. I've used it on all kinds of different stuff. And everything comes out nice and clean. That wash action is very effective. And yeah, so there you go. Pretty impressed with it. So there you have it. This is the GE Space Maker Portable Washing Machine. Uh, it's great that even back in the day, uh, General Electric offered an option like this for homes where hookups for a traditional full-size washer and dryer were not available. Uh, and it's great that it cleans as well as it does and that it's as well made as it is. Uh, really seems like a great product for its time. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And also, if you're able to provide any information on this model, I'd love to learn more about it. So please comment below. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.